Bwana alini alinisikia nikiwa kwenye shimo la utelezi. Haleluya. Akaninamia. Akanitoa kwenye lile shimo. Akaweka miguu yangu juu ya mwamba, akaimarisha miguu yangu juu ya mwamba. Alafu akaweka wimbo mpya ndani yangu. Wimbo wa sifa. Haleluya. Wengi wataona na watamkimbilia huyu Bwana. Kuna mtu amenipata. Najua bado. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Lakini at least umesikia hayo maandiko. Wakati Bwana ameweka wimbo mpya, huwa unajua ni wimbo mpya. Kwa sababu unapowimba, watu hawaskii wanaona. Hallelujah. It is not that they hear, it is that they see. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Ukianza kusema tu Mungu yu mwema. Wewe ukisema tu Mungu yu mwema, wanasema nani mwema kweli? Aki ni mwema. Maana wema wake unaonekana juu yako. Haleluya. Haleluya. E ukisema tu yeye ni bwana wa mabwana ni mfalme wa mfalme ni tajiri wa matajiri hauna haja ku explain glory be to the name of the lord as you sing the new song many will see and they will come so that they may also receive the new song glory be to the name of jesus haleluya jina la bwana lipewe sifa kuna mtu anaipata hebu mchapie bwana yesu makofi Haleluya. Siku hizi naimba wimbo mpya. Haleluya. Hivi ombo vipi havina issues? Lakini vitakubali. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa sana. Wow 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 wow. Haleluya. Mbona nakuona kama mbarikiwa? Mbona kama mbarikiwa sana? Haleluya. Najaribu kwanza kuhubiri lakini nasikia tu kukuhakikishia you are a blessed person. Hallelujah. You are amazingly blessed. Eternally blessed. Plentifully blessed. Joyfully blessed. Hallelujah. Gloriously blessed. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And that is how it is from this moment in Jesus mighty name hallelujah kuna roho moja nataka kuivunja nimeivunjaga lakini nasikia kuivunja tena hallelujah nenda nami katika kutoka 19 mstari wa tatu na wanne. kutoka 19 exodus chapter 19 verse 3 and 4 msa akapanda kwa Mungu na Bwana akamuita toka mlima ule akisema utawambia nyumba ya Yakobo na kuarifu wana wa Israeli maneno haya Mmeona jinsi nilivyowatendea wa Misri na jinsi nilivyochukua ninyi juu ya mabawa ya tawi nikawaleta ninyi kwangu Haleluya Nenda ukawaambie wakariako Halo. Jina la Bwana pia sasa sana. Haleluya. Nenda ukawakumbushe watu wa Kariakoo. Je, mmeona jinsi nilivyowatenda maadui zenu? Amen. Amen. Kama bado hawajatendwa, wanaenda kutendwa sasa hivi. Wale maadui wamekuwa wakikusumbua, sijui ni ugonjwa, sijui ni nani nimekuja nikiwa nao na vita nikiwa nao na, na sumu yao haleluya glory be to the name of the lord haleluya wana wa israel hawakutoka kwa sababu wa misri walitaka ama waliwachoka no 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 si kwa sababu walichoka wali kupata huduma za wana wa israel lakini walitoka wakawaacha wakiwa na machozi amen wameliwa mpaka na mpaka na nini zile na chawa wameliwa mpaka na na frogs yani yani vile vituko vimewapata wacha kufiwa na wazaliwa kwanza before that ali deal now kisawasawa ali reduce to nothing 
kuna mtu ananielewa maji yanakuwa damu watu wanaishi bila kunywa maji mpaka uwe na rafiki wa Kiisrael akuchotee kutoka Goshen na tena kama hana upako wa kutosha yakifika kwako yashakuwa damu you know those people suffered mliona vile nilitenda na wa Misri nimekuja kutangaza kila Misri ambaye ameinuka kinyume chako Mungu anaenda ku deal naye haleluya usi wakati wa kuogopa wa Misri usi wakati wa kuteswa na wa Misri wakati wa kusema shetani akanifanya akanifanya huu ni wakati tumfanye yeye Unanisikia wakati wa kufanywa fanywa umeisha ni wakati wa kumfanya yeye katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Haleluya. 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 Na haitakuwa siri. Watu wataona Mungu atauliza mmeona vile nilideal na wa Misri nimekuja kutangaza maadui wako itajulikana ya kwamba Mungu yuko pande gani. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Haleluya. Huu ni wakati Mungu anaenda kustangaza si kwa maneno ni kwa matendo ya kwamba yuko upande wako. Haleluya. Glory be to the name of Jesus. It will become important for people to side with you because it will be clear you are on the side of God or rather God is on your side. Haleluya. It will become clear that when people come to your side they get blessed. Because the God who blesses is on your side. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Nasikia kubarikiwa. Yaani sisikii kitu kingine. Nasikia baraka baraka hivi. Neema neema hivi. Nasikia nguvu nguvu hivi. Nasikia uwepo uwepo hivi. Hallelujah. Eh hey, ambia mtu nikubaya. Tena ni kuzuri. Hallelujah. E, ukiwa kinyume chetu ni kubaya. Ukiwa pande yetu ni kuzuri. Eh mchapie bwana makofi mazuri. Haleluya, haleluya, haleluya. Baada ya ku na wa Misri Amen. Mmeona jinsi nilivyowatendea wa Misri na jinsi nilivyowachukua ninyi juu ya mabawa ya tai. He have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear or I bore you on eagles wings. Yaani hiyo imenifikisha mwisho. Haleluya. Hebu tangaza mngangano umeisha. Mana nina ride kwa mabawa ya tai. Haleluya. E, badala ya kushinda ukingangana wewe unapewa ride. Haleluya. Wewe unapewa nini? Haungangani lakini kufika utafika. Hauchoki lakini kufika utafika. Halo? Hauchoki haumi lakini uta accomplish. It's not how bright you are. It's not how clever you are. It is that you are carried. Ah. You are carried to your destination. You are carried to your destiny. You are carried to your victory. You are carried to your success. Hallelujah. Kuna yutu to story to story to to kina nani wale? Kina Malunji. <laughs> Chameleon eh? Jamaa mpaka arushe rushe mara nyingi. <laughs> Ndio asong. Jina la Bwana Profesa Sala. Siku nyingine wakaanza mashindano na yule bwana mwingine sijui alikuwa ni panya sijui alikuwa ni nani. Msungura eh? Ya kwamba hamwezi kwa speed. Kama maji kabila linaambia Sungura hata hamwezi kwa speed. Wakaanza mashindano. Eh? Sungura kakimbia yake yote lakini unajua Kamelion ni mdogo aki arrive anakuta jamaa yuko pale anambia ai usi nkanyage bwana una shida gani na mimi bwana wanikanyaga budhe budhe tu budhe budhe tu umefikaje hapa ai si nimekimbia si ulisema unadhanfinda ambia jirani that is my story in Jesus mighty name haleluya anayefikiri atanishinda atanikuta mbele 
Haleluya. Ya panya nayo ilikuwa ni panya na nani? Na ndovu. Panya na nani? Wamekanyaga daraja, daraja limecheza. Walipovuka panya anauliza, anauliza, anauliza ndovu, umeona vile tumetikisa hiyo? Yaani tumefanya lili? <laughs> tumetikisa hapa mimi nimetikisa. Halo. Hebu ambie jirani mimi na Kristo. Mimi na Kristo. Tunaenda kutikisa. Eh usinione usinione kapanya hapa. Halo. Niko na ndovu. Haleluya. Akitetemesha na mimi nimetetemesha. Maana tuko ligi moja. Aacha pia bwana Yesu makofi. Haleluya. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Kwani hamkuona nilivyowatendea wa Misri? Haleluya. When they are completely defeated that they cannot resist your escape. Then I take you on my wings and then I cause you to excel. I cause you to succeed more than you ever thought possible. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Yale mambo Mungu anaenda kukutendea ni yale hujawahi fikiria ya kwamba yanaweza yakasemwa kwako. Amen. Things that are beyond your thinking, things that are beyond your understanding, those are the things that God has prepared for you. You are going to see them and if you are not seeing them, people will be forced to see them. Wale wataki kuona tutawaonea. Haleluya. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Ambia jirani hata kama utaki kuona tutakuonea. Amen. Mama amekataa kabisa hataki kuonewa na mtu. Ambia jirani nitaona mimi mwenyewe. Mm. Maana yatakuwa kwa. Unajua historia ya kuja kuambiwa kumetendwa huko. Reported speech is never perfect. Either imeongezwa ama ime Hallelujah. Haven't you seen what I've done to those foolish guys? Amen. Wale walikuwa wanaandama andama. Haven't you seen what I've done? And then after dealing with them, I took you on eagle's wings. Amen na unawasili bila kuchoka unawasili bila kungangana unatendewa bila formula yako formula inakuwa ni ya nani ni yake naomba tu mchapie bwana Yesu makofi mazuri jina la bwana lipewe sifa sasa tunaendelea na verse 5 Sasa basi ikiwa mtaitii sauti yangu kweli kweli na kushika agano langu hapo ndipo mtakapokuwa tunu kwangu kuliko makabila yote ya watu maana dunia yote pia ni mali yangu Now therefore if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant Then he shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. Nanyi mtakuwa kwangu ufalme wa makuhani na taifa takatifu. Hayo ndio maneno utakayowaambia Musa aliambiwa aambie wana wa Israel mimi nimeambiwa niambie watu wa kari yako. Hallelujah. Unapobebwa katika eagle's wings kuna mahali mnaenda Amen By the way wale wanakupiga vita wako huku chini Hello Kwa hivyo usiwe na wasiwasi kama utafika kule mnaenda Kwa sababu hawatokuweza maana utakuwa una operate from a higher level Amen. Amen. You will not be walking, you will not be crawling. Amen. You will not be limping. Mm. You will not be jumping. 
Amen. You will not even be running or even driving. You will be flying on eagle's wings. You don't need any wings of your own. Hallelujah. Unajua, the, 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 the eagle, according to the Bible, is the most prestigious bird. Eh? Akitajwa, huwa anatajwa with some prestige. Hebu ambia jirani, kwanzia sasa. Zile means nitakuwa nafika nazo kule naenda. Katika safari yangu ya maisha. Zitakuwa ni zile prestigious. Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. There is a release of a prestigious anointing. <laughs> yes, that's why the eagle is announced there. Ametajwa pale kuleta the element of prestige. You're not flying kwa mabawa ya vindege vindege vya hivi hivi ati kinangorusa. Anaitwa nani wewe na Kiswahili? The crow. Kunguru. Ambia jirani mimi si fly kwenye kunguru. Si ati hana mabega. Hana prestige. Amekosi wapi prestige? Anakulaga vilivyo vilivyokufa venyewe. Eh, anakulaga mizoga. Hello. Hebu mchapie bwana Yesu makofi. This guy is a hunter. This guy always achieves his objectives. This guy knows how to calculate. Huyu mjamaa akipimia kamnyama akiwa huko angani ambapo haumuoni atakalculate speed ile atashuka nayo na kabla hujahepa asha kuchota uko uko angani na hivyo anaenda na kuachilia ukiwa juu ukifika chini anarudi na wewe umeshakufa kitambo hampigani tena kuna mtu ananipata haleluya huyu jamaa hangangangi anajua kucalculate vizuri na anamaliza naga na wewe mapema hello Ah glory be to the name of the Lord. No wonder last week tuliambiwa the Lord is going to renew your youth like the eagle. Glory be to the name of Jesus. There is something about the eagle that interests the Lord. That is why he said you he will renew your youth like that of an eagle because an eagle will never stop being an eagle will not stop will not st stop doing his agenda. They die flying. They die hunting. Kuna mtu ananielewa when they grow they grow old and the hizo 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 kucha zikianza kuzeeka na huo mdomo ukizeeka na mabawa yakizeeka anangoa yote anajiwekea maskari akipona ako as as new eh? as good as new unanipata mdomo unauma tena kama zamani kucha zinashika kama zamani na sasa hii ana umri lakini hakuna tofauti kati yake wenye umri na yule mchanga kwa sababu ame renew his youth na bwana anasema he's going to renew your youth ndio alisema last week lakini leo haleluya akajua kwamba you'll have a problem reaching your destiny maana uta <laughs> Utawekewa vikwazo na wajamaa. Amen. Amen. Wajamaa wata, wataweka ma roadblocks. Amen. Amen. In the course of the week bwana kaja na plan mpya. What if I put them on the wings of that eagle? Let them not just renew their youth. Let them fly on the eagle. Amen. Those guys that are fighting you are fighting from under here. So, ambia jirani kwa arrive nita arrive. Mana si zuiliki tena. Madui wa kuku chini. Hmm? Watapanga njama, na wataweka ma roadblock, na watangojea, watapata abari nilifika. <laughs> abari tawafikia nilifika. Wakiulizo watambiwa hata si tulishangaa kumuona hapa. Kumbe huna wings lakini uli ride on eagles wings. 
Sasa mnaenda wapi? Condition ya kupaa juu ya hayo mabawa ni kusikia sauti ya Bwana. Amen. Kweli kweli. Kusikia sauti. And I want to remind you what I've said before <clears throat> that when God speaks it is always with a verb. Yes. Amen. Kile ambacho umesikia kama Bwana alisema alikuwa anakuagiza utaenda utafanya utafika mahali fulani hakikisha umemsikia that's the first one amen ya pili umeti umefanya nini hii kushika ni kuti obey my voice keep wacha ngoja tuchane na covenant kwanza Hear God's voice, obey God's voice. You obey by taking action. Amen. Hapa tuko na drivers wengi. Lakini pia tuko na mwalimu wa drivers hapa. Hii gari wakati huwa unaistia, huwa imesimama ama inaenda. Ah, uh-huh. umesema pole pole. Hii lazima. Maana umetumia neno lazima. Wewe kugeuza tu ikiwa imesimama. Oh, a lesson toy. Hello. Hello. Hebu ambia jirani obey uanze kwenda kule Mungu anasema. Na usianze kuangalia ngalia angalia at eagle yuko wapi, wings ziko wapi. Ah ah, wewe anza kwenda kule Mungu amesema begin to do what God has said you will do. Kile kitakushangaza ni ya kwamba umefika. How the eagle came alikuchotaje utajua. Amen. Formula umepewa. Sikia Mungu, ti Mungu. Amen. Unamtii kwa kuanza kutenda kile amesema utende. Uanze kwenda kule amesema uende. Haleluya. Watu wengine wanakuamia hapo hapo maana pia kusikia Mungu kwao ni ishu. Uliza mtu hapo wewe unajua kumsikia Mungu kweli. Maana hmm, hapo ndio kuna tati. Learn to hear the voice of God. Jina la Bwana pesa sana. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah zimepungua. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Maana watu wanauliza na yeye anaongea vipi? By the way, hakuna tatizo kubwa kwa Mungu kuongea. Tatizo kubwa liko katika sisi kusikia. Haleluya. Yeye yeah, ataongea hata kupitia kwa mtoto mdogo, ataongea kupitia kwa radio, kupitia kwa TV, kupitia kwa pasta, kupitia kwa mgeni. Yale mambo ulikuwa unauliza Bwana 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 sijui nifanyeje Bwana sijui nifanyeje Bwana mtu anaingia na bado hujamwambia, anaeleza na wakati anazungumza yale majibu yako yote yanakuja. Amen. Sasa wewe pale unabakiji ukisema kweli ni Bwana. Kweli ni Bwana na wewe jamaa namjui vivi watu kuna haya. Ah uh-uh. ah. As long as ndio ulikuwa unamuuliza Bwana. By the way hata amefika hapa akiwa mlevi. Hakuna. Amen. Amen. Si nipunda siku nyingine aliongea. Yeah. Wachana na Mungu. He can use anything. Yes. Hebu mpigie Bwana Yesu makofi. <laughs> He speaks so loudly, so clearly. Wa, 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 bora tu uwe ulikuwa unamuuliza ilo jibu likija utajua by the way when god speaks you will know wewe ndio huwa utangangana iwe si yeye but as far as you are concerned utajua ili jibu ni ili he speaks in such a way you will know whatever means he will use but you you will know tatizo la watu wako na njia yao yenye usijua aliambiwa na nani wanataka mungu aongee kulingana vile wao wanataka Oh I am the Lord your God. <laughs> Glory be to the name of the Lord. <laughs> Unaweza gojea sana. Maana si wewe unamwambia. Si wewe unamwambia ongea kupitia hivi. Ah ah, ni yeye anaamua. Jina la Bwana Yesu sana. Amen. 
Mimi mwenyewe amenuezaga. Jina la Bwana litukuze. A long, a long time ago sio siku hizi but kitambo kidogo. Especially kabla sijakuja voi. I say ilikuwa napataga ka ujumbe. Nina kaupiri. I, na kana katamu kana kaka pia kapia kabisa. Alafu the next time you watch a TV program or even you listen to somebody preaching hata kwa sijui ni Nairobi sijui ni wapi hata singine ni Tanzania singine ni nchi nyingine anahubiri exactly the same thing nilikuwa nahubiri na nikifikiri mpata ufunuo completely new Hello Kumbe Mungu ananiambia ni mimi niliongea I rub a stamp and the way I rub a stamp I will repeat it but I'll repeat it with somebody else in such a way you will know si akili hata si wewe unajua kuomba sana ni mimi tu nibeabua Una, unakuja mpya unaitoa unafikiri nisipoihubiria watu hakuna mtu ataipata next sunday unasikia boy zako akihubiri sasa huyu alisikia wapi wewe unafikiri nufunua niambia jirani achana hii story Mungu anajua kuongea na akiongea atakuhakishia ni ye si akili yako si maombi yako mengi si ufunu wako mwingi a uh-uh. ni yeye aliamua kufunulia na anaweza kufunulia mwingine before a month is over everybody else is preaching the same thing ah nabaki ah bwana endelea na ujumbe zako <laughs> hebu mchapie bwana Yesu makofi when he tells you no you will know this is no itasemwa mpaka ujue this is no amen safari zikufe pesa zipotee nini yani atakusimamisha mpaka ukienda umeenda kwa kupenda kwako wanaume mpo ndio sasa hii ndio atupendi atatumia mama wife umekuja na idea mzuri kabisa huyu imekuchangamsha mbaya Unafika unaeleza vizuri na msisimko wote alafu unatafutiwa time alafu naambiwa sijui mbona mimi na mzigo na kitu mbona sijui mbona siski ukiendelea nayo utapoteza pesa na kuhakikishia hiyo no inakuja <laughs> oh tunazaga iki sirando speed <laughs> lakini hata wewe unajua kabisa bwana abelela ubaya amesema no hapo tu ndio umekasirikia sio hatujajua umejua bwana abelela the only problem is the answer is no and you didn't want the no ukingangana utaona nao mama nao ni wazuri Mungu awabariki arudi kukuambia na nilikwambia anakwambia tu pole lakini <laughs> arudi kukuambia silikwambiaga asemi ah mchapie bwana Yesu makofi Uliza jirani baada uliza Mungu anaongeaje? Amen. Na hii unaomba alafu unapata hiyo appointment si Mungu ameongea? Jina la Bwana Yesu lipewe sifa sana. Amen. Mwingine haongeaje na mdomo? Hiyo kitu yenye unaomba ndio inakuja. Na bado hujatafuta pesa. Inakuja. Na sio tumepewa bure unaambiwa chukua utanilipaga. Rafiki yangu mwingine askofu ameenda juzi juzi hapa na hii covid. Alimkuta na Prado na Land Rover Discovery. <coughs> Nikamuliza dadi mbona 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 unaangana magari mengi hivi? Akaambia kwani kungangana? Eh. Ay. Hii ni hili iliitwa nyumbani. Hii hii hii, hii ndio kanisa ilinunua. Lakini mtu anaenda sijui anaenda ngambo, anarudi kwao. Eh eh. Ananiita Aniambia naenda ka 2 years taki gari kae hapa nataka uichukue. Namwambia mimi na zangu hata si yangu zangu. Kwa hivyo usihitaji gari lingine. Anasema no 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 hata ninajua lakini nakupa wewe. Bure hapana utalipa. Ni shilingi fulani lakini sasa lazima unipe sasa hivi wewe utaendelea kuweka tu pesa kwa akaunti yangu nikirudi wewe umemaliza. Na naenda huko miaka miwili. In 2 years nikija wewe ulilipa ukamaliza na baada hivyo akaanza topic nyingine yani kwamba kama nimesema yes ama no ya kutaka kujua kuna mtu ananielewa 
hivyo ndio Mungu ameamua mzee apate gari nyingine. Amen. Amen. Hivyo ndio Mungu ameamua apate gari nyingine. Hivyo tu. Aliniambia sasa iko hapa ile siku kutakuwa na emergency ndio nauza. So na vile Mungu anakuwa na mpango. Ile siku kutakuwa na problem eh hii ndio nafanya nini? Nauza. Maana sini yangu sasa kwani nitalazimisha kaa nayo. Hebu mchapie bwana Yesu makofi. Kusikia sauti yangu kweli kweli na kulishika agano langu. I don't know why the English one is is is, is clear in my mind. Now therefore if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant. Keep my covenant. You don't keep a covenant if you are not in a covenant. You have to be in a covenant. And as we are in what we call the new covenant. Covenant in the blood of Jesus. A covenant that I enter by saying, Lord, forgive me all of my sins. And I receive you as my Lord. And I live in the confession that I am saved by the blood of Jesus. I live expecting a miracle, not on the basis of me deserving, but on the basis I am forgiven and I have been made a son. And if a son, an heir to everything that belongs to God. Kama uwo ni ushuda wako, mpigie bana makofi. Na kama bado uko hapo haujatoka uko hapo ushuda wako sasa hivi unasema mimi bwana Yesu ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu kifo chake msalabani kilinifaidi kikaniondolea dhambi kikanipa msamaha wa dhambi kikanipa access with the father ya kwamba i know and this and the spirit in me also bears witness with the spirit of god nikisema abba father ro nae pia analia ndani yangu abba father ya kwamba what i'm saying is true that God is my God. The moment I begin to pray, I sense a presence of God. I sense that access to God. I sense that breakthrough. If that is your testimony, can you clap better? <laughs> Tell your neighbor if that is your story, then you are in a covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep hearing God. Keep obeying God. You will find yourself on eagle's wings. You'll always be surprised. Ya kwamba mingangano haimo tena. Jina la bwana lipewe sifa. Jina la bwana litukuzwe. Najua watu wana expect formula iwe ngumu. It is as easy as that. Hallelujah. Why does he put you on eagle's wings? Because you have become a peculiar treasure to him. Kiswahili nasema umefanyika kuwa tunu kwake. Ulifanyikaje kuwa kuwa tunu? Uliingia katika maagano na yeye kupitia kwa mwanawe. Na baada ya kuingia kwa haya maagano umedumu katika kumsikia na kumtii na kutenda vile ambavyo anasema. Na unajua kila wakati yeye akisema he speaks with a verb kitu kingine maybe nimesahau kukuambia ni ya kwamba na akisema mara nyingi au magizo yake huwa si music kwa masikio yetu it will always demand some sacrifice it will sometimes demand some money it will demand some time it will demand some effort it will demand some education si ile unaenda kutafuta ile uko nayo tayari ukipata ukipata ingine ata demand hiyo lakini sasa hivi hakulizi urudi shule nataka hiyo hiyo yenye uko nayo Hello by the way I love God eh? Amen Ajoi kuambia wende ukitafuta Did you did you discover 
huwa anakuambia umpe kile uko nacho. Hajawahi kuambia nenda utafute ulete. Hiyo ni Isaka. Ndio aliambia mtoto wake nenda utafute ule. Lakini baba wa mbinguni. Mwambie jirani ni mjanja kuliko hivyo. Anakupaga tayari. Ndio akwambie sasa lete. Alafu one vile unangangana kumnyima. Mchapie bwana Yesu makofi. Mwambie jirani the answer is in obeying. Mwambie tena the answer is in obeying. Maana ataongea kile unacho, ataongea kile unaweza, alafu sasa wewe ndio unangangananga kukataa. Amen. Why does he protect you? Why does he kill all the Egyptians on your behalf? Why does he put you on eagle wings? It is because you have become a peculiar treasure. A peculiar treasure. Hebu simama kidogo. Unajua mambo mengine haya mpaka celebrate. Hebu celebrate kidogo waambie jirani mimi ndio treasure ya Mungu. Yaani I am treasured by God. Hebu mwambie vizuri haijalishi wewe unanionaje. Wewe unazaniona hivi hivi mdogo mdogo mnyonge mnyonge mwenye hawezi wezi hivi lakini baba huyo babangu dadi wa heaven treasures me ah i say yeah. hallelujah Leo kidogo na get leo kidogo na experience ka treasure leo eh na ka experience kidogo you know you know mama has not been feeling well eh na kwa ajili huyu naye alikuwa siki nzuri tukapatana akae kwa dada priska unajua mimi sipatagi nafasi ya kwenda kusalimia dadangu hivyo lakini wiki na huko na sikwagi na haraka nikagundua i treasure this woman jana nikamwambia But mom ni kama nakupenda bila bila naviona. <laughs> Sibanduki. Kumbe ukit, ukitaka liwe nje kwako frequently shikilia yule mama. She ni kama she is a treasure to me. Hello. Na nini akaja dada Holness akaja akamuita mwayo wa Jesu. Nikakubaliana naye yeye yeah, mwayo wa mzedo wa Jesu. <laughs> Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. Ambia jirani sasa Mungu Mungu wa mbinguni ananiona mimi nikiwa treasure kama vile sisi tunaviona watoto wetu wakiwa treasure mama zetu wakiwa treasure basi Mungu ananiona mimi nikiwa treasure kwake hmm? yani bado hajaelewa hebu mwambie we ukijaribu kunigusa ndio utajua e, ndio utajua ndio utajua haleluya ndio maana wa misri wakaangamizwa because they were a treasure to god hallelujah that is why anybody that is coming against you is in great trouble i am assuring you they are in great trouble because you happen to be not to that you will become no no you happen to be god's treasure even now amen sasa Nimeanza na treasure ndio nrudi peculiar. Peculiar treasure. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Sasa nafikiri nikisema hii hata siposema lingine nitakuwa nimemaliza kazi. Yaani mpendwa, oh hallelujah. Sio tu kuwa treasure, uh-uh. Kile kinaleta tofauti kati yako na kila mtu ni the part where you are peculiar. Hiyo ndio nafanya akutafute. You could be treasure and we are all treasures but the, pro- the the difference is mimi i am peculiar yani hata nyinyi mkiwa bado atani miss maana mimi nina ka peculiarity kengine kenye oh hallelujah nyinyi hamtoshelezi kuna mtu ananipata 
Hallelujah. Do, 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 mesikiaga mtu ako lonely in a crowd. Yes. Mtu ako lonely? Mimi nikisema usinone kijicho unasema the same. Ya kwamba nyinyi mkiwepo nyote na mimi siko bado Mungu yuko lonely in a crowd. Maana mimi siko. Because there is a peculiar thing that I bring to him. There is a sense in which nisipokuwa hatosheki. Maana oh hallelujah. Mm. Kuna kakitu tu mimi hulete. Kuna kuna na nyinyi hamna. Na hata mkifanya hata ukiiga atajua hiyo imeigwa. By the way you can't con him. Vile Yakobo alikone Isaac. Jamaa kawa ako confused. Mbona ngozi inakaa Esau lakini mbona sauti nayo inakaa? Kumbe jamaa bichiwekelea ngozi ya mnyama akam trick baba lakini as far as mimi na baba huyo wa mbinguni is concerned hapo uto boy i tell you i have to arrive hebu hebu tuangalie Ephesians chapter 4 uh, it will be either verse 13 or 14 Mhm. Mm, verse 16. <clears throat> From whom the whole body fit eh, fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love katika yeye mwili ukiungamanishwa na kushikanishwa saada kila kiungo kwa kadri ya utendaji wa kila sehemu moja eh, sehemu moja moja huukuza mwili upate kujijenga wenyewe katika upendo yani huu mwili umeshikanishwa na kila sehemu ina part yake na hiyo part ina fit vizuri ghafla ama kwa urahisi alafu mwili unakamilika Amen. Amen. Wacha ni some tena pole pole. Ambia jirani ujione kwa hiyo andiko. Yeah, that is the whole point. Katika yeye huyo Mungu eh, ama huyo Yesu Kristo ambaye ndio sisi ni mwili wake. Katika yeye mwili wote, yani macho na mdomo, miguu, vidole ukiungamanishwa na wewe ndio hiyo kidole ama wewe ndio mguu ama wewe ndio nini kushikanishwa kwa msaada wa kila kiungo from whom the body fitly joined together and compacted by that which by that which every joint supplies that which i supply ndio imefanya huo mwili ukakamilika that which i supply wacha na hii yako hii yangu hebu ambie jirani wacha na hii yako yenyewe una supply hii yangu ndio imefanya mwili ukawa compacted Eh? Na waangalia hapa mnaona kana kwamba nasema uongo. Ambia mtu unajua puzzle. Sijui kama unajua kidude kimoja kikitoka. Yote? Mambo yake imeisha. Ambia jirani kwa hivyo mimi nikiochomoka tu. Mko na ishu mko na problem in your hands hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi nasema mchapie bwana Yesu makofi 
Mwambie tena that is how important I am. There is something as I, I supply. There is something each member supplies. That causes the body to be compacted. Without which that compactment will not be. Hakuta kuwa na mshikamano. Wakati mimi sija supply. Kile ambacho ni mebeba. Na ni mimi nacho. Ndicho kina nipa peculiarity. Na ndicho kina nipa umuhimu katika mwili wa kristo. Kuna mtu ananielewa. Na hicho kitu ambacho ni peculiar. Ndicho kitu kila mtu aweze kudiscover chake. Aweze kudevelop chake. Maana hicho ndicho kina kupa importance. Kuna mtu ananielewa. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Naomba mpigie Bwana Yesu makofi mengine mazuri. Yaani nimefika mahali pa kusema hivi, kuwa na kitu sio hoja, mara ingine kujua unacho na ukijenge na ukikufaidi wewe, that is where the major issue is. Some of us can supply that which the body needs, but we don't even know we carry anything. Tuko hapa tukisema mimi si chochote bana unaniona bana vile niko mnyonge sina kitu bana sina chochote bana hata sijui kama na faida yote hapa kwa umili <laughs> Begin to discover the peculiarity Hallelujah Mr Kwenda zaidi hapo tu Amen Hello Hiyo peculiarity ndio inakupeleka mbali kile tuweza fanya hatukutafuti wanadamu tuko hivyo kile nazajifanyia sikutafuti ngo tafanya mwenyewe na kutafuta kule siwezi kujifanyia amen nilisema amen nilisema amen na kwa vile mimi ndio niko nacho na kinahitajika mbali sijui unaona igu la kitumwa Sijui umeelewa ni wapi igulu inabidi atumiwe ni kwa sababu uko peculiar na uko treasure na huduma yako inatajika mahali na kuna vikwazo njiani ndio unakuja unachotwa na nani na igulu maadui wanakuta uko kule ukisupply <laughs> ukisupply what you carry ukisupply what you do best Ukishare what only you can share the way you can share and it will do only that which you when you share it can do what is supposed to be done mpigie bwana yesu makofi mazuri haleluya sisiki kusema zaidi Nasikia ushike hapo tu ili uenjoy hii eagle wing Amen Mpaka wache kujidharau uanze kujiona kama treasure Hakuna mtu anagaramika kupeana wings kwa kitu ambacho hakina thamani Igulu wa watu anatumwa because number one, you are treasure to God Then number two, that treasure that you are is peculiar it cannot be found anywhere nimemaliza lakini to be peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine na ikitajika the other part of the earth unakimbizwa huko uende usupply maana the earth is his na kiamua niwe amepeana hakuna kesi e, kwa kumalizia tu yani tu ili siwe tumesoma pali pamoja walimu wa bible school aliniambia hiyo ni shida mtu anaweza sema haya ni yako yakisemwa mara mbili inabidi watu wamenyamaza hebu twende <clears throat> petro wa kwanza mbili na by the way ministry yetu imejengwa kwa ujumbe. Amen. Amen. Eh, inasema hivi. Bali ninyi ni mzao mteule 
ukuhani wa kifalme taifa takatifu watu wa milki ya Mungu mpate kuzitangaza fadhili zake yeye aliyewaita mtoke gizani mkaingie katika nuru yake ya ajabu but you are a chosen generation us a royal priesthood amen, amen. hapo hapo umeona royalty ndani eh? royalty hapa tunasema determines our level of excellence and then priesthood gives us access to the father a holy nation lazima tudumu katika utakatifu alafu a peculiar people ambia jirani hata tukiwa peculiar people mwambie jirani hata tukiwa peculiar people mimi nina peculiarity yangu pia peke yangu mmm mpigie bwana Yesu makofi ngoja alafu hii kanisa ina peculiarity yake kutoka kwa makanisa yote Suambie so, jirani hapa tuna peculiarity yetu. Kwa hivyo kuna vitu ukisema kanisa ni kanisa nenda ujaribu utapata. Maana hapa tuna peculiarity yetu. Kuna vile sisi katika mwili wa Kristo tuna fit. What? Maana hata huo mkono the whole hand huwa una vidole na kucha na vitu vingine vingi tu. Sindio? If we are the hand as church ndio tukawa mmoja mmoja una jina lako kama we ni ukucha kama we ni kidole kama we ni nini but we all of us form the hand we are peculiar as in the others cannot touch without us e... Hallelujah We are a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that we should show the praise I that we should show the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous son hapa tu ninazunguka zunguka tu pole pole tu ya kwamba eh, <coughs> eh, sababu ya ni kwa nini tuko hapa wapendwa ni ili <coughs> haleluya eh, ni vile tu tuko na wimbo mpya kwa hivyo watu waone oh haleluya haleluya that we may show the praises sisi simama kidogo simama tu kidogo haleluya ambia tu mtu tuko hapa ili watu waone tu Mm, yani yani tunabarikiwa barikiwa ili watu waone tu. Waone tu ya kwamba tuko na wimbo mpya. Ah mchapie bwana Yesu makofi. Mm. Muambie, mm. muambie, muambie. Unajua ni kwa nini tunabarikiwa ovyo ovyo? Muulize kama najua kwa nini tunabarikiwa ovyo ovyo. Ni ili tuzionyeshe fadhili za bwana. Mm. Wengine wa, wa, waje wamuamini bwana. Ndio maana tunabarikiwa ovyo ovyo. Mwambie kama kama ulikuwa hujaanza kubarikiwa ovyo ovyo imeanza leo saa hii saa hii saa hii saa hii saa hii Haleluya eh, so that we may show the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light you cannot be in the light and you are not shining my friend there will be a reflection of that glory oh hallelujah glory be the name of jesus Hallelujah. Mwambie jirani ndio maana nangara ati ndio maana nangara. Ndio maana nangara. Kama bado usingari nitangara. Oh hallelujah. Kama unafikiri nangara bado ujaona. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Kuna kakitu peculiar. Kuna kakitu peculiar. Ni treasure ndio lakini tena iko peculiar. Alafu Mungu anasema anafanyia tu makusudi ili watu wapate kumsifu Bwana. Wamsifu Bwana katika vile ambavyo tunabarikiwa. Kule, eh hallelujah. Mnapata lakini. Ama najubiria, maana pia nikijurubia kuna shida. Si anaweza kuja kwa mtu mmoja, na leo ameamua amekuja kwa mimi. We never know. <laughs> yaani na bahati angalau nabarikiwa. Kama ubarikiwi kesho, bado kesho tutahubiri. Lakini leo I tell you I am a treasure, I am unique, I am peculiar. There is something I supply, nobody supplies it. And I'm given so that God may be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The God was, who took me out of darkness where nobody could see me. Mm-hmm. Now he has transformed into some light. Whether you like it or not, you still see me. Yes. You like it, you don't, you still see me. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 
Unafikada mahali? Ukiwa area inajulikana huko. Nilitembea tembea kuna mkutano ulikuwa mahali wiki. Tembea tembea zangu tu na watu wa kawaida. Kafika, ai, pasta nilienda ule mkutano, sijui wa wapi pale, sikukuona. Nikamwambia sikwaji mkutano yote. Bado sijakuwa omnipresent. <laughs> but eh, already ni kama alikuwa disappointed. Maana nasikia mkutano umekuwa organized such a such a fellowship, kwa hivyo he was very sure. Pastor Mwazo will be there. Akifika siko. Alafu ndio huyu tena anakuja dukani. Akauza na ulikuwa wapi? Ulikuwa na mtalo mali fulani? Nikaenda huko siku kuona na naongea na ka disappointment. Nikamwambia na mimi kwaji kila mahali. Eh, ukiniona mahali eh, eh, huwa kuna watu nime disappoint. For now it will continue maana siko omnipresent. <laughs> Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. Yaani anasema siku supply. <laughs> Alikuwa anahitaji nifanye lili? Kuna kaka kitu bi supply. Sasa jana hakikufika huko. Maana kilikuwa kinafika kwingine. Ngoja. Hello, hello, hello. Kule kwenu kuanzia sasa. Mm-hmm. Family gathering kifanyo. Mm-hmm. Sherehe kifanyo. Mm-hmm. Ukiwa absent wataona imefeli hata kama ina kila kitu. Na ukiwepo hata kama vitu vingine haviko itakuwa imefaulu. Maana peculiarity yako. Itajaza kila pengo. Halo. Unajuaga kuna mahali usipokuwa kitu cha watu imeharibika. Amen. Amen. The other week I had a problem. Friend yangu alikuwa na odeiniwa mahali. Na dadangu mwingine naye kazi alikuwa anaolewa mahali. Nikapigana na hesabu ikalemea kwa huyu sister. Ile saa nilimpigia hivi. Nikamwambia do you know what eh, I've decided I'll come to your wedding. Huyo msichana alikema. Unaitwa kema eh? Yeah. Alikema. Hello. Friend mpaka kwa hiyo ni nini alisema? Fulani angekuwa hapa. Speech yake nikiwa mbali I featured. Si wewe ulikuwa? Eh, yeah. hey, I featured alisema Reverend Mwabaza would have been here. Ni vile tu dadake anaolewa mahali. Kuna kitu siku supply. Hebu ambia mtu kuna kitu nacho mazee kuna kitu umebeba kuna kitu umebeba kuna kitu umebeba Fanya bidii ku supply Ataki kukosaga hii kitu yako Amen Nasema amen Kwa vile mmesha simama Hii ingine nitaisema tu Ukienda kwa Revelation chapter 1 By the time ufike verse 6 Anasema pia tumefanywa wafalme na makuhani. Ukienda tena kwa hiyo hiyo Revelation chapter 5 verse 10 imerudia tena. He has made us priests and kings unto God. Si unto people unto God. Ndio maana umewekwa juu ya tai. Kwa sababu wewe ni mfalme and the eagle is also royal. Hallelujah. Hey, the eagle ndiye mfalme wa ndege. Na wewe ndiyo mfalme unto God. Ndio maana you are put on the eagle's wings. Upelekwe uende usupply vitu. Maana kuna vitu umebeba. You are loaded with something that the world is in need of. The church is in need of the family is in need of the community is in need of Hallelujah Na akipatikani kwingine Mungu ameamua ni kwako kiko Glory be to the name of Jesus
Ooh.